Defense and Space News TV report. Today 8th September Indian Air Force Day. So we are going to discuss about Indian Air Force upgrade news. The Indian Air Force's MiG-29, which has a good operational record, has gained in strength and ferocity after the recent upgrade, giving EF, which is facing a shortage of fighter aircraft, a much-needed shot in the arm. The Russian origin aircraft is now capable of mid-air refueling and is also compatible with latest missiles to launch multi-dimensional attacks along with multifunctional display, MFD, screen, Flight Lieutenant Karan Kohli, who is deployed at Adampur Air Force Station, told PTI. Last week, the upgraded fighter jet showcased its combat capabilities at Adampur Air Force Station. With the upgrade, as compared to previous legacy version of the MiG-29 bought under an emergency clause in the early 1980s, the fighter jets are capable to give a befitting response, said Kohli. An official, requesting anonymity, when asked about any possible two-front war with China and Pakistan said that the fighter jets are capable to give befitting response after the current upgrades. The F has faced long-standing issues due to a large number of aging Soviet-era fighters in its inventory. So, in order to enhance their operational capabilities, the F initiated the process of a comprehensive modernization plan to upgrade its fighter fleet. One of the most popular export aircraft of Russia, MiG-29 is currently operational in 23 countries with India being one of the largest export operators of the fighter jet. India became the first international customer of the MiG-29 after RIAF placed an order for more than 50 MiG-29s in 1980 while the aircraft was still in its initial development phase. The F has three squadrons of operational MiG-29 fighter jets with two of them at the Adampur Air Force Station. Adampur Station had played an important role in destroying enemy fortifications located at heights of 15,000 feet and above in the 1999 Kargil War. Similarly, in 1965 and 1971 war, the base was used for the air campaign against Pakistan inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. Next update about Mka 2.0. As India prepares to issue $10 billion global tender for fighter jets, Sweden's Saab has offered 100% tot of the gripe need. However, experts note that 70% of the technology is borrowed and it is unlikely that the proprietors would allow Sweden to transfer those to India. A day after America's Lockheed Martin expressed its unwillingness to share its closely guarded technology for F-16 fighter jets with India, Swedish firm Saab has offered complete technology transfer if India awards it the $10 billion contract for the single-engine fighter aircraft, Gripen E. Saab is committed to full technology transfer to India in connection with Indian procurement of the Gripen E. We will build the world's most modern aerospace facility and ecosystem in India. We will abide by the terms of the strategic partnership that will be set by the government for the single-engine fighter aircraft program and will undertake complete transfer of technology to the chosen joint venture partner, Jan Widerstrom, Chairman, Saab India said in a statement. However, beyond the rhetoric, there is a catch. Unfortunately, Saab doesn't own much of the critical technology that goes into the Gripen E. Saab does not even own up to 30% of the aircraft's key technologies including the propulsion system and the AC radar. It would be a really big deal if Saab conciliates other original technology developers to transfer technology to India, which seems unlikely. Vijinder K. Thakur, former squadron leader of Indian Air Force told Sputnik. Saab chose India's Adani Group, a new entrant in the field of defense aerospace, for collaboration this September with the aim of bagging India's single-engine fighter aircraft contract. In the beginning of this month, both partners hosted a supplier meeting in New Delhi creating an industrial ecosystem to develop and produce the Gripen in India. This was done in order to start shaping an ecosystem for the Gripen in India in preparation for the single-engine fighter selection process. Saab explained its reason behind organizing the summit. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe, like, comment and stay with us.